Hey, Harper's Bazaar, it's Laura Morano, and I am gonna show you my nighttime routine. So, let's get ready for bed. Here's the thing, for me, every night is a little bit different when it comes to my routine, both skincare wise and self care wise. Am I exhausted and I'm just trying to get to bed as quickly as I can? Am I taking some time to reflect? As you can tell, I do have a face full of makeup. So this is gonna be, ooh, this is gonna be extra, extra long because I'm gonna be taking my makeup off as well. First things first, um, I actually like to use this wonderful, spa water, cleansing spa water. Everything's gonna be backwards because it's in selfie mode. Um, so this is Cogendo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly because I use this product literally every single day and I've used it for years and years. I have combination skin, by the way, um, which is the most fun skin. It's dry, it's oily, it's all of the above. So I'm gonna try to take off as much of my eye makeup specifically, which we have a lot of individual lashes right now. Um, as much as I can before I actually wash my face. So I'm excited to figure this situation out. Um, I also have been very lucky to work with a few skincare products and companies in, in my life. Um, and I usually don't work with a company unless I really believe in the product. So even though I don't work with those companies anymore, I still use those products, which you'll see, because I really love them. I think they're great and they work really great for my skin. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not having great luck with the lashes, but I'm not gonna stress out that much because I'll actually use a washcloth and a face cleanser. We'll get to that point. Okay, we're gonna get off as much as we possibly can before I do my face cleanser. My next product, I was gonna just put the water on and wet this washcloth before I do that. And this is a company that I worked with recently starting in 2020, First Aid Beauty. I like to have my face be a little wet. I actually think it's even in the directions, but, but I don't know. I don't follow directions. Directions follow me. I don't know what that means. So I'm just gonna put this all on and then, you know, for me, the the name of the game, the word of the hour is always gentle, trying to be as gentle as I possibly can. I I wonder if it looks harder than it is. Um, but like I'm being rougher with my face, uh, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like I'm just lightly, lightly just touching my face with facial cleanser. Washcloth. I'm gonna do something extra special tonight uh, and do a little face mask. But before I do that, I wanna just make my face sure it's as clean as possible. So again, I'll probably use this product again, um, but I'm gonna use it right now. And this is another product that I got from working with another company called Acne Free, and it's their Witch Hazel Toner. I've been working with them for a long time, but I am obsessed with this product. It just is very impactful for my skin. Again, feels gentle, but I just feel like it takes out all the unwanted particles on my face. I don't have a little pimple that's coming in on the chin. How exciting is that? I'm not surprised because I am stressed and haven't slept super well. So I don't always do this, but today, <laughs> Hold on. Today, I am gonna be doing this face mask. Now, I have not um, worked with this company professionally, but this is a New Zealand-based skincare company. They're called Antipodes. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But my makeup artist on The Royal Treatment, because we filmed that movie in New Zealand, connected me with this company and was like, they are really amazing. And so this is their Manuka Honey Mask. You try to um, get it on your face as evenly as possible. Okay. I am probably gonna have to get a little bit more. Ugh. I wish we were able to do, we were able to film in 4D where you guys could smell 
this incredible smell. So I keep this on for 10 minutes. I'm not gonna keep you on for 10 minutes. I'm gonna pause it really quick. See you in 10. Okay, it's time to take this mask off. Usually I would take it off in the shower, um, but again, we're showering after this video. So, um, you know, I can use a washcloth or, you know, when in doubt if I'm not using a washcloth, I'll use some of these Mac wipes, which are nice. Um, super easy, you can kind of use any like gentle wipe, but I, I love me some Mac. They make great wipes, let me tell you. Even though I started doing skincare stuff, um, or being aware of it when I was young because of my mom. Um, my routine for sure has changed because I've learned about or worked with different products. Um, I've, you know, seen some things work and some things not work for me. So I don't know. I don't know if this happens to anyone else. I sometimes feel like my skin gets a little like you think you can rule me product? Well, I'll rule you. All that to say like I feel it doesn't affect my skin as much or it's not, my skin isn't reacting to it as well. Like I used to have different face cleansers I would use and um, they worked and were pretty good for a bit. And then I felt they really dried me out. Um, I have a lot of sinus issues. So I get very dry around my nose because I am always blowing it. So I get really dry kind of there. And so I felt like some face cleansers though, maybe they help me with breakouts. We're not really helping this area. And I also get really dry in between my eyebrows. To be safe, I'm going to use the spa water one more time. And then I'm using the Witch Hazel Toner again. Let's see the Witch Hazel Toner. And how are my eyes actually? I asked because I might do a little Q-tip situation with the spa water. I will like really get in there to really make sure I'm getting as much product off my lashes because I also feel like that affects them. Last thing I'm gonna do is I use another First Aid Beauty product that I love. This again is, I have a new um, version of this. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. This is specific to the Fab 8 campaign that I did. Um, but they have this amazing product that is beyond just their Fab 8 campaign. Um, I usually, when I put it on, I just kind of put it all over my face and then I go to sleep sometimes. I'll put on like acne medicine. I have like a little like fun acne medicine situation that's somewhere here. I might not put this on right now only because I am gonna go shower and that just seems like a waste of product. I, I definitely am the person that has like the tiniest bit of product left um, and I will just, I will make a meal out of that. Not literally, figuratively. It would be weird if it was literal. Um, I will just keep, <laughs> I will use as little product and stretch that as much as I can. So what I usually do though is I would, you know, rub it, have it, and then kind of just fades in my skin and it makes my skin feel really nice. And I guess the last, last thing I do is <laughs> I put um, like Vaseline or petroleum jelly on my lips, which I will do actually right now. because My lips chop very easily. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I had a blast doing this. For your nighttime routine, think about watching The Royal Treatment on Netflix. So have a great night and I'm gonna just blow out this candle. Bye.